Well, human, thank you for being on the channel. I want you to click the subscribe button to join the Terrence family. Well, well, well. It is time for me to talk about Miss London. I remember it was a nice day outside. I went out for a little walk. And I said to myself, what am I going to do after I get finished with my workout? You know, get done hitting up the bench press, pumping up the pectoral muscles. I was like, okay, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to find me a nice black porn actress. You know what I'm saying? I feel like I want some uh, some black booty today. So that's what I went to. Went on the internet after I got done hitting up the, the bench press. My pecs were all pumped up and shit. And then at that point, I was like, all right. Turned on the computer. Type, 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 type. Looking around like, damn, there's a lot of fine black porn actresses here. Look at this. And then I came across Miss London. I was like, I've never heard of her. So I went on and clicked on her image, and it led me to a bunch of scenes. And I clicked on a scene where she was fucking a black dude on the couch. And um, that scene was... I think it was like maybe seven minutes or so to when I clicked on. And um, I had that scene on loop. I watched it three times back to back because when that clip started, she was already fucking the dude on the couch. And the way that her ass was bouncing up and down and the way she looked back at the camera. It was interesting because I didn't even take my pants off. Usually I take my pants off, pull down the boxers, whip out the dick. But it was like my pants and my boxers pulled themselves off. You know what I'm saying? And my dick was already just just shot up in the air, just ready. You know what I'm saying? It was like, it is time to get down, T. And it was at that point, I, I feel like I was so hypnotized by Miss London's ass bouncing up and down. And then she had looked back at the camera and it was like she was reminding me like, yo, T. Where the strawberry lube? I was like, yes, ma'am. I went to get that strawberry lube. I didn't even pause the scene. I just went to grab it real quick. It took me like five, ten seconds. And I got it. So, you know what I'm saying? Put a big glob of that shit in my hand. And I just started stroking away. And it was like the way she was riding the dick, you know, doing the different twerking and the different motions. And she turned this way and that way. I was like, holy shit. I am about to come hard as fuck. Like it was one of those things where I was like. With this particular female, it ain't going to take me like multiple scenes. I feel like this one, she going to make me bust. And by the time I got, I like I said, I watched it like two, three times back to back. And then I was going and going. Shit, by the time I made it to the second time watching it again, then at that point, my body, it just let me know. Like, T, it is time for you to release your seed. And at that point, I busted so hard and the semen was going everywhere. That shit got in my eye, on my chest. It was everywhere. And even though it got in my eye, it was like it completely went away. Like it didn't shoot in my eye. Like my eye cleaned off itself because she was just so on point. She was just fucking the shit out that dude. She was controlling the dick. The dick was bending in different ways and her ass was going up and down. It was like her booty had a mind of his own. It was like the booty knew... That whatever dude was watching the scene, that he would be gripping his dick with the death grip. And that's what I had. I had the death grip because sometimes, you know, I like to change up the intensity, how hard I squeeze it. If I bend it to the right or to the left, if I stroke it fast or if I just focus on the tip. So I had the death grip and I was just jacking off and shit. By the time I got to the third time watching it, because like I said, I had that shit on a loop. I was like, I, I need to see this multiple times. So by the time I had it on, you know, got to the third time, you know, had it on that loop and shit, I had the death grip and I was squeezing that shit so hard that the veins in my arms started popping out even more than usual and shit. I had that death grip and my dick was numb because I had already busted a nut, but it didn't matter. And then I felt like I was about to nut again, right? And then, then she put like, she was down balls deep on the dick and then she kind of you know, got up off the couch just a little bit to work the dude's tip, you know what I'm saying, and while the ass was bouncing, you know, so she was just working the tip of his dick, and I was like, holy shit, and from then on, I'm telling you, like, my hand, I had no control, it went to the tip, like, I went to the tip of my dick, I didn't even think about that shit, it was like, when she went to just, you know, uh, stimulating that dude's dick, at that point, I went to the tip of my dick, and I was squeezing the fuck out of the tip of my dick, and it was like, 
that man, I fucking nutted hard as fuck. It was harder than the first time. The semen was coming out slowly. And then when I slowly backed down off that tip, it started shooting everywhere. And I was like, oh, fuck. Like it just, it was amazing. I was like, oh my God, this, this is like one of the best nuts. So then I was like, let, let me go to another scene. Cause I didn't watch this one three times. I just, I was like, maybe I still got another nut in me. Got one more nut. So then I went to a scene where she was in the shower, right? She was soaping up the boobs and ass. And I was like, hell yeah. You know what I'm saying? She's watering and putting the soap everywhere. I was like, awesome. And then it looked like she was talking to somebody, but you didn't hear nobody else's voice and shit. She's like, oh, so she's talking to herself. It must be one of those scenes. I don't care. Just keep soaping up the ass and boobs and everything will be right in the world. And all of a sudden this dude came in. And he just started fucking the shit out of her in the shower. And at that point, I used one of my hands. Like, so I was just like squeezing my balls with that one hand, with the, with the fucking left hand and with the right hand, I was just stroking the shit out of my dick. I was focusing on the tip. Then I went down to the base and I was just stroking the whole fucking shaft. And I was just like, yeah, fuck her, fuck her. And you know, she was all wet because of the water and the soap and shit. Dude was fucking the shit out of her, fucking her up against the wall. And at that point, the ass was jiggling so much and the way she was looking into the camera. Sometimes in life, so, so, sometimes in life, you got nut three times. Like, let, let's just be real about this, Okay. You know, sometimes the female can get you to nut once, maybe twice, but that third time, you know, like how the humans say the third time is a charm. Well, shit, that fucking third nut. I, I was able to speak seven different languages. I nutted so hard. It was crazy. I mean, it just, that's a rare experience. That's something you got to appreciate because that's probably not going to happen again like that. But holy fucking shit. That third nut was so intense that even five minutes after I nutted, it seemed like I was nutting the fourth time. Because my body was just stuck in an orgasmic state. It was crazy as hell. I was like, holy shit. I am so exhausted and so happy and satisfied. I'm going to eat a bowl of cereal and take a nap. Thank you for being here, human. I want you to like this video. Share with your family, your friends, whatever humans you may know. You punch the shit out of the subscribe button to join the Terrence family. Terrence out.